Hello and welcome to Excel-DashboardTemplates.com. This is Steve Equals True. Please visit my blog at Excel-DashboardTemplates.com so you're sure to get the latest posts, tips, tricks, and techniques, and learn everything about Excel dashboards and charts. All right, uh, today I have a user question that I posted as a Friday challenge last week. Uh, the user said, if I had a pick list, could I select either amount or percent and have the chart show the amount or the percent in the chart. So uh, sent this out as the Friday challenge, had a lot of great responses. Uh, the cool thing is none of our responses were exactly the same. Uh, and I'm going to show you my solution to this. Uh, we had one user do a picture um, and insert those and choose formula for those different pictures. We had another person say, let's just get rid of this uh, column and just do labels. Um, so I came out, uh, after, I thought this was going to be a real easy challenge when I first saw it. I tried to uh, solve it and uh, had a dickens of a time. So I'm going to show you the first couple of uh, attempts that I did first so you can see my method of thinking. Uh, and then um, about halfway through the video or end of the video, I'll show you how we actually solved it uh, using a number format. So let's go ahead and uh, take a look and try this data. Now um, for my first things, I'm just going to assume my pick list is already created. Um, so what I first do is typically I'll go and create a not applicable function. Um, so what I would do is just go this is equal to the quarter and then I would do a not applicable function equals uh, if this choice is equal to oops let's go back and lock that down with hitting the F4 key is equal to quotes amount end quotes then I want to do the revenue amount if not I want to do a not applicable function so I would typically do that one and then um, what I would also do is the same formula that says equals if hit my tab key um, and then I would say equals if this which is F2 and then hit my F4 key uh, is equal to percent then do the percent amount else do not applicable so I thought uh, this was gonna be an easy challenge this is gonna be my first attempt um, oops, I don't need the totals in there, so I can just get rid of those. So uh, you can see we chose amount here, then I change my pick list to do the percent. And if I come in and I make this a percentage, and I make this an amount with my dollar sign, um, let's go ahead and chart that. And so if I go up to my insert ribbon, I'm going to go over to the chart section and do an insert of a chart. Um, so if you can see here, um, I've got percent chosen, but it's got sort of a dollar sign there. It's kind of weird. I've got amount. You can see uh, my amount flips to not applicable. Oh, looks like it's working now, 70,000. But as I kept testing it, my percents went back, uh, stay at dollar signs. And if I go back to the amounts, my amount stayed at dollar signs. So, so I said, well, let me go name based. So I went in here and I created a formula, I went up to my name manager and I created a new name and we're going to call this choose chart and I said this is equal to um, we're going to do a uh, uh, an if statement if f2 equals quotes amount then let's go ahead and do this range over here for our revenue if not let's do this range of our percentage and I hit enter uh, clicked on close and I went and created my chart and I went over to the chart menu did a 2d column chart and I said alright we're gonna have to change on the design ribbon my select data button and I need to change this formula here uh, for my series to actually be that named range that I just created called choose chart clicked on OK clicked on OK oops I, there was one other thing I needed to change in there which was my horizontal category labels. We wanted those to be these quarters. Clicked on OK. OK. And so here we are. We have our uh, quarter one, which is pretty cool. Um, and then we do choose for the percentage. Well, it's not getting my percentage in there. It's still not doing what I wanted. Oh, and here's where I was coming into that error. Look, it changed my revenue to percents instead of 
um, dollar sign. So it's got it backwards, and I could not figure out how to get this to do it right. So my percentages keep showing up as dollars. I thought it was on the NA function, and my uh, dollars keep changing to percentages. So just thought it was an easy challenge, couldn't figure it out, and then I said, well, let's try one other thing. And so I got to looking at the data, and I said, all right, how can we solve this? Well, the revenue data is typically a large number. If it's sales or an amount, you know, it's going to be some accumulated number, and it's probably going to be greater than, oh, 100, but most likely definitely uh, greater than 10. Um, and percentages are always a very low number, um, typically below 1. But uh, even if I went over here and let's say I typed in, um, uh, you know, 100, um, or, well, let's just even do 10. And if I click on the percentage amount, 10 is 1,000%. So 10 is a pretty large number um, when it comes to percentages. So I said, all right, let's, uh, let's see if we can do this with a number format. So um, we're going to go ahead and create the whole chart. So we're going to say choose, and we're going to do our data validation here. And what we want to do is go up to our data ribbon. We want to go over to our data validation button. And instead of any value, we want to choose a list. And in our sor source option, we want to just type in amount um, or percent. Hit on OK. Now, I don't like Excel 2013 that it doesn't show you that pick list unless you're, you click on it. So we want amount to be shown there, or we can choose percent. Um, so in our case, let's start with the amount. Now, uh, we want to just make our horizontal um, axis labels. So I'm going to do equals quarter, uh, which is over in A3. And I can copy that down for all four quarters. Now, this is where we just want a simple if statement equals if. And we want to say if F4, or I'm sorry, F2. Then I'm going to hit my F4 key to make it a locked in absolute value. Um, if that is equal to quote amount, then I want to do the revenue amount else I know it's going to be the percentage and I'm going to hit enter now you see we just have a regular number in there and uh, this is where we want to make our change we want to highlight our data here in the amount we want to go up to our home tab or home ribbon um, we want to go to our number grouping we want to select more number formats and in here we want to create a custom number format and in this type field, we want to just go ahead and delete where it says general, and we're going to see our sample up above. So we want to type in this formula. We're going to say, if uh, start with a bracket, because we can give some conditional formatting here to Excel. We want to see if it's greater than or equal to 10. Then let's go ahead and end our bracket and do a dollar sign. Um, and uh, we want to do pound comma pound pound uh, and then zero um, and then we'll do a semicolon now uh, the next thing we want to do is start another bracket and say if it's greater than zero and it, then we're gonna say let's go ahead and make that 0, 0.0 percent and then if it is equal to zero we're gonna just make it equal to zero now this is important to do this because otherwise we would see percent of zero on our horizontal axis. Um, but it's more about just our horizontal axis. I could not get it to change for anything except for uh, if I forced it to say if, um, if it is zero, actually just put zero because we don't know if zero is a percent or if zero is a dollar amount. Let's go ahead and click on OK. And look, uh, we now have our amount has a uh, dollar sign there. If we do percent, it's going to show up as an amount or as a percent. All right, so now all we have to do is highlight from E2 down to F6, go up to our Insert ribbon, go to our Charts group, and then we're going to pick 2D Column Chart. Click on OK. I'm going to bring this over so you can see it. And if I come in here and I change this to Amount, we get 70,000 and see this is where that zero comes into play it will keep showing percentage here no matter what if we don't do our formula quite right in our custom number format 
45% uh, all the way down to uh, zero here as well. Changes our title. Everything works just like we want. How cool is that? So a custom number format. That's the way we can try and take care of this. It's just one simple formula uh, in the number format section. So I want to say thanks to everybody for making, uh, putting in your submissions for the Friday Challenge. I also want to say thank you to everybody who subscribed. We're over 1,000 subscribers, so that is just awesome. Uh, I wanted to say thank you very much. And uh, if you're not a subscriber, please consider subscribing to my video channel so you're sure to get the latest posts delivered directly to your inbox. And I can't wait for 2014 as we're going to do lots of awesome videos in Excel. Thanks and happy, happy new year.